So I wake up on Monday, September 15th. Lehman has gone bankrupt overnight, literally filed bankruptcy in the middle of the night. And another announcement was waiting for us on our news uh, tickers. And that was that Merrill Lynch, uh, famously called within our business, Mother Merrill, had been absorbed by Bank of America. Um, Effectively, what had happened, we now know, we didn't know all this at the time, was the Bank of America choosing to walk away from the Lehman deal based on what they had saw, then caused Merrill to say, okay, well, we're going to end up being next. We're going to need the deposit bank of a large commercial, the deposit base of a large commercial bank to help us flow through these difficult times and, and all of the excesses that existed on their balance sheet. And so they went to Bank of America and, and a deal was struck. And uh, at first they wanted to sell a piece of themselves. Bank of America said, no, it's all or nothing. And they ended up doing a deal that amounted um, to the, uh, basically Bank of America, I believe dropped 20% when the deal was announced and Merrill Lynch went up 20, 25, 30% um, because Merrill was literally insolvent, the size in their balance sheet, hole, the hole in their balance sheet. And that, and that hole in the markdowns and their losses they would have to take accelerated dramatically in the months after this deal announcement. But at that time, Merrill was smart enough, to, and Bank of America, you could say, was dumb enough that they that they extracted this really large uh, price tag um, out, out of Merrill. And the Merrill shareholders may not have liked it because it was still such a lower price than where the stock had been just a year earlier. But it was a very, very, very improved price from what it arguably would have been a day or two later, which is potentially zero dollars. Uh, markets collapsed and the chain reaction continued. Lehman was gone. Merrill was gone as we knew it. Um, and everybody was left wondering, what's next? <laughs>